This is such a wonderful day to celebrate the second annual Baskin Girls in Engineering program at Cabrillo College. There are about 25 girls here, each talking about their role and what they learned. Hi, I'm Katie, and um, one thing I liked about this camp was how it um, taught you about um, all the different kinds of engineering and not just one. Like What we did was we had to make a flashlight by finding flashlight parts all over a field. We had to find all the flashlight parts and we tried to put it all back together, which is called reverse engineering. And speaker project is pretty much two paper plates, two business cards, some wire, a magnet, some paper, and we made a speaker out of that. You, you choose the smallest and lightest person in your group to stand on a bucket and you, you have to duct tape them to a wall and you have five minutes to do that. And I was the person taped to the wall and it was kind of scary. I even had a chance to talk with several of the parents who were so enthusiastic. One uh, mother in particular talked about her 12 year old who went on Wednesday midway through the week came to her mother and said, Mother, I have finally chosen my career, which was to be a chemical engineer. And I think that's so charming that uh, she was feeling that she was behind the game at age 12 to have not yet selected her career. My name is Martin Sweet and my daughter Juliet came to this camp this week. I'm a teacher and she's been kind of a reluctant learner in math. And I just and loved science. her being excited about learning. That was the best. And the, the teaching was exceptional. The projects were hands-on and every day she was telling me about what she was learning, which doesn't happen a lot during the regular year in school. So we're just very grateful for the opportunity and what a wonderfully run program. This is the first time that she's really met other girls who would say that math and science is their favorite class. This is Joanne Panzardi in the engineering department. I just wanted to thank you again for supporting the girls in engineering program for the second year. It was just as amazing as last year. Uh, we did something different this year. Instead of having female faculty teach all the, the design projects like we did last year, this year we encourage engineering students at Cabrillo, female engineering students, to come and present the topics and do the projects. And I think it was fabulous. Because well, first and foremost, the Baskin Foundation, Jack and Peggy, they really believe in uh, community and education and they are the reason why this camp is funded and uh, they put in so much money to this school and to creating an opportunity for everybody and anybody from any background to go into the STEM fields, uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, we had two peer leaders, peer leaders, Anna, come up here, Anna and Sam, and uh, these two girls did the camp last year, kind of I'm Samantha, but I also go by Sam. And last year I did the engineering camp and I liked it so much that I asked Joanne if I could be um, help the TA and Rox the TAs and Roxanne out with the girls and it was really fun to spend a week with them. They're very energetic and ready to do all the projects. Hi, I'm Anna and I did the camp last year and I just thought that it was so fun that you could have one project and one set of materials and you would have tons of different ways to approach things. I wanted to introduce to you um, my TAs, they're wonderful, wonderful people. This is Natasha, and I want Natasha to tell you a little bit about herself. Come up here, Isa, Natasha. Hello, everyone. My name is Natasha. I'm an international student from India. I've done several other middle school projects, and mostly it was boys. And even though it was meant for girls too to participate, they were mostly boys there all the time. So what really encouraged me to be a part of this program was to inspire girls to be an engineer. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Isa. I'm an international student from Brazil, and I'm a chemical engineering student. Um, Joanne invited me to do the camp, and um, I had a personal goal about the camp. I wanted to have at least one of those girls to come at the end of the day and tell me I wanted to be a chemical engineer. And we were talking about that today, and I hit the jackpot because I had five girls coming to me and telling me they wanted to be a camp engineer. So I'm really excited. They're all awesome. I'm proud of all of them, and it was a great experience. 
we, in a short amount of time, saw several strengths in these girls' awards, and by no means are these your only strengths. These are just some of the strengths that we saw in you, Julia. You are persistent, focused, and super devoted. Every single project we talked about, Julia was right there. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, great. Julianne, very enthusiastic, likes to share her knowledge, and is helpful which is so great. If Jules is part of a group, she's helping somebody else and elevating her group. Okay, Coco, tries and tries again award, persistent, and she's willing to share her ideas. If she has one, she's not quiet about it, she shares it, and if, if the group takes it, great, and if they don't, that's fine too. You're a great, great. Okay, Lorena. Lorena, Lorena, you have a lot of ideas. Uh, great way to close all the projects, by the way. Uh, creative, and you're a contributor. You're a very good contributor. Thank you. Yes, you're very engaged, you're detailed, you're accurate. You get the all-in award. I don't know if you guys play poker, but I do. I usually lose all the time. But uh, All-in is a term where you push all your cards in, and you're all-in. Respectful, joyful, and encouraging in groups. You're very encouraging to your group members. You make people better around you. That's awesome. Very energetic, this girl is always rolling around in a chair. Uh, helpful. And very competitive. She wants to win, even if it's not about winning. That's awesome. Okay. Katie. Where's Katie? There she is. Miss Fedora. Makes everything fun and interesting. Positive influence in groups and has style. And that's really important. You know, I, I was telling everybody here that it is important to have your own style. You don't want everybody to be the same. And that's one of the things that's so great about women in engineering is that you can give something to this field that is above and beyond and in a different outlook. So they have uh, seeds planted in their brains of the courses that um, they should take if they want to get into this field. And it's important to match that with their passion. And I talked with the people in the opening remarks, uh, thanking you, Jack and Peggy and Nicole, for all of your great support to make this program happen and that you weren't able to come today, but that you sent your best regards and looked forward to all the photos and the comments and hearing about the success of this past week. Wish you could have been here. We're really uh, appreciative of your support, and I know that you are here in spirit. Thanks. Bye-bye.